With less than 24 hours to go before the Miss Langata Prison Pageant 2016, the courtyard is a frenzy of activity. The 20 finalists sift through piles of donated clothing, deciding on their catwalk outfits. They must choose wisely. Tomorrow will offer a rare reprieve from their usual prison tunics. This is not just any ordinary day for this. Uh, for these ladies, because uh, my job is to train them, and uh, I don't only train them uh, how just to appear, but I will train them in their catwalk, their confidence, their attitude. Final rehearsals are rushed as sunset points to lock-up time. The training will truly be put to the test tomorrow. Pageant day begins early with professional makeup for all the contestants. The excitement in the air is contagious but also deceptive. Stark reminders that this is a maximum security prison are never too far away. And every woman has a difficult story to tell about how she ended up behind bars. I made this wrong choice to go to Brazil and to, to take something that someone taught me to take. And you know, at that time I didn't have a home, I didn't have food, I didn't have a job. I couldn't put my kids in school, my daughter was supposed to go to school. It was, I had, I had no other option. Alicia was caught in transit at Kenya's main airport. She's been awaiting trial for drug trafficking for more than two years now. Should judges decide to hand down the harshest possible sentence, Alicia could spend the rest of her life here. So all I'm asking is for them to give me a second chance in life as a person, as a mother, as a daughter, as a sister. And, um, just that I can correct the wrongs that I've made to do, give my kids back what they, they've lost. The emotional stress many inmates face is what inspired events like the beauty pageant. It is one of a range of activities and programs that define Langata's progressive reform policy, geared towards developing healthy inmates inside the prison and well-adjusted citizens outside. <laughs> It helped me a lot with my courage and okay, my self-esteem because that's something I didn't have. It's been long since I applied makeup like this, so I'm really grateful to the officers. At least they're giving us this chance, you know, to experience what you could experience when you're out there. It's kind of great. I want to build my self-esteem, confidence. With only moments to go before the competition begins, a local comedian keeps the audience entertained. Finally, the contestants take the stage. The women give it their best. From casual wear to formal. Beautiful, beautiful. And the audience can't get enough. <laughs> Finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, for Miss Langata 2016, <laughs> contestant number five. <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> I was so surprised and shocked. I didn't know actually that I'm going to get this. And I thank God for it because of God's favor. Oh, I didn't expect that I was like begging for top 10, but this personality, oh, it was so shocking. I couldn't help it. It's, yeah. People are going to be proud of me back home. For the prison's chief officer, the day has been a great success. Before any program is carried through for any individual, there should be some kind of a self-esteem. Get to know who you are. So we want to bring these people out and accept who they are. We love you. Some critics of the rehabilitation program say events like this glorify criminals. But the pageant organizer disagrees. People don't see prisoners as anything other than criminals. And people need to begin to see them as human beings first than to not label people and to see that they are able to participate in the other things that we all like to participate in. Well, Miss Langata Prison 2016 has officially been crowned. In a short while, the inmates here will be returned to their cells and essentially things go back to normal. 
But what remains is the fact that for at least a day, every woman at Langata Women's Prison felt beautiful inside and out. Lindim Tongana, CCTV, Nairobi.